Hey everybody, today we are looking at the C Audio Yumi. And this one is starting at $169. It is their entry level. They have other models out right now. It should also be noted that this is called the Anu in Japan, where the faceplate is actually a different design as well. Uh, we'll get into what comes in the box, and we'll also get into the sound signature of this. And I'll address uh, some concerns that people have had that I've seen in the reviews. Yes, I read other people's reviews. I read the forums over at HeadFi. And of course, in the groups that I own and moderate, I listen to everybody's uh, input on this, you know, before I make my own decision. But ultimately, my decision is my opinion. You see it right there. It's quite gorgeous. Um, you know, I base my opinion on my ears. I don't even base my opinion on the chart. I look at the chart and then I just throw the chart away because basically I've looked at a lot of things that have had a good chart and they've sounded bad and they've had a bad chart and I thought they sounded great. So it all depends on your ears and everybody's ears are different. So this one is based on what I heard and my opinion on this, uh, getting into the packaging this is some gorgeous packaging. Uh, really nice looking. It's nice when they spend the time to do this. But overall, obviously, if they don't sound good, you know, what good is a package? I'll get into that shortly. But first of all, the packaging, the sky, the anime character, uh, the logo and everything, very nice. Then we move to the back of the packaging, where we see that there is obviously very good uh it's a comprehensive information uh probably the most that i've ever seen on packaging or at least in a long time that i have seen we see that it's tuned for the Harmon target curve uh says that they fine tune the characteristics of the drive to meet the target curve and the overall smoothness especially optimized for dynamic driver vibration, ultra low frequency, sound, domain response, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to get into that. Um, you can see the chart right there that they came up with. Everybody's chart might be a little bit different depending on the, how they do that. Uh, obviously, an expert person, I would take their chart. I don't know who did the chart for them. Uh, looking at the specs, we're looking at a sensitivity of 106 decibels at 20 ohms. The frequency range is 20 to 20 kilohertz. Uh, you see there it terminates 3.5 millimeter. I don't know if there's a balanced version of this, but the one that I have is 3.5, so I'll, that, that's all I'll mention. Uh, it is a 0 0.78 millimeter two-pin connector, standard two-pin. The cable down there it says 5N OCC. Nice copper cable, by the way. I like it. We'll get into that in just one second as well. Uh, see the standard two pin. I like that a lot. Um, it's going to flip this over. Yes, I did test this with the switch, by the way. Um, and I, I do like the sound stage on this, and it sounded really good. Now we're looking at the Yumi themselves. Just give you a quick glimpse right there. Uh, this would make a nice thumbnail right there. Um, so putting that over there. Inside you get your registration card, you get a sticker to match the box, so if you get a different box you'll get a different sticker. And you get some more stickers, cute little stickers. You get a very comprehensive guide, they, they definitely are good with documentation. Uh, hats off to that. I, I don't usually use the manual because I know how to use the IM, but it's nice to know that it's there. Uh, here you have the C Audio logo that looks like an eye. And this is a nice metal case. And we'll just close that up like that. You can see that it is thicker than the standard round case that you get with a IM. Here's one from another company. I think basically the same price. And this is nice. It's armored. It's metal. It's going to protect your thing. No, you're not going to be able to put a DAP in it or anything, but... You know, that's what a travel bag is for. That's what your equipment bag is for. Looking inside the box, you would see the IMs here, the case here. And you see the different size tips. You get a very good amount of tips. Extra small 
on up to large, and then you get medium and large ear tips, two sets. I didn't use them because I have the Dacones that I use. Uh, and I do have the Comply Round, but I did not use them for this. I did use the Dacones because I have to test it to see what it's going to sound like with, with different things on it. Um, build quality. Uh, very, very good build quality. Uh, definitely doesn't feel like an entry level. It feels quite premium. Uh, it looks quite premium. Some people would look at this and probably think you had a custom in-ear monitor. Uh, that beautiful sparkly color. You see the nice nozzle right here. It is a little on the shorter side, uh, but this kind of raises up too, so that kind of makes up for it. It's a nice wide nozzle with the shower head type uh, filter at the end. And as we mentioned, the nice two-pin connector, which is my preference. I like two-pin. I have tons of MMCX. I have QDC and the TRN cables. But just the standard uh, two-pin, depending on what size, is usually my favorite. It's just very easy to put in. It lasts longer, in my opinion. Um, overall, the shape, very ergonomic. I found these to be extremely comfortable for my ears. Maybe I have atypical ears, but at least for me, I found them extremely comfortable uh, for long periods of time. I've tested these for quite a while now using a variety of equipment um, like the Zen stack over there. Uh, what else did I use? I used a whole bunch of equipment. The I, the hip DAC, the FIO Q3, which is very transparent, uh, brings out any flaws in the sound of anything quite easily. Uh, very good, detailed, uh, portable, that FIO Q3. We'll have a video on that shortly. Um, the hip DAC, they sound really nice. It gives them a warmth. Same thing with the Zen Stack. The Zen Stack is just a, like a super powered hip DAC. Uh, very good. Um, I, it matches perfect. I didn't get any uh, low any noise or anything. The background had some low ground noise, so these sounded really really good on that as well. Uh, them being 32 ohms also helped. They're not hard to drive. You can actually drive these very well from your phone. But as with most things, a little bit of power always helps out. So comfort-wise, I would give these high marks for comfort. I would give these high marks for looks. I would get these very high marks for build quality. Uh, they feel quite premium. And as I said, they look quite premium. Sound-wise, now that's the important thing. That's what we came here for. What do they sound like? Um, like I said, it's tuned for a Harman target. Now, they're as good extension throughout from bottom to top. There's some very good extensions. Uh, a lot of people have claimed that these don't have any bass. Maybe they're used to more of a V-shape with that boomy bass. Uh, this has some very good sub-bass extension, some great details down there, uh, some excellent details in the mid-bass. Uh, very rapid, very punchy. Uh, we get into the mids. Personally, the mids are kind of the star here. There is a bit of a lift there in the... Um, upper mid-range and the lower treble. Not shouty, just saying that there's a lift there, you can hear it. Uh, mids themselves and vocals are forward. Uh, they're in front of the instruments. Um, where they should be kind of reminds me of like a live performance. Uh, thinking about the mids, they're very clear, they're detailed. Um, depending on your track, there may be a hint of warmth there in them. But overall, uh, I think that this is a little bit brighter tuned, although it does have some excellent uh, quality bass there. Then we get into the highs. Now, the highs, there is a uh, noticeable sparkle with these. And I think that people that are very treble sensitive, treble, excuse me, uh, they might have a little issue with some tracks, especially classical music. Uh, other than that, uh, the sparkle is well done. Uh, it, it's a good extension. I find that it is quite well done, but 
I'm just trying to play uh, devil's advocate here toward people that may be trouble sensitive or people that are base heads. People that are base heads, obviously, you're not going to be happy with this, even though it does have some great base. 90% uh, of the people that buy this will probably be happy with it. Um, overall, I like it. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I like the mids. I like the, the good quality base that it has. And I like that sparkle on the top. Uh, soundstage is very good. It's fantastic, as a matter of fact. It has a nice width, a nice depth to it. And it, an overall a natural sound with some really good imaging. Positioning is quite well with these. And they worked well for gaming. Uh, they work great for music. Uh, I did not watch movies or TV with these. Uh, I do from time to time with IEMs, but I did not have a chance to do that with this. I just used it for gaming and mostly music for a long session. And I found, obviously, for those long sessions that it was comfortable, and the tuning allowed it to not be fatiguing, except for on tracks that had very high highs uh, that were tuned like that, especially things like classical and, and um, acoustic music and that. As a matter of fact, most acoustic music was fine. Uh, more so some tracks with violin and stuff like that. Overall, I think it's very good sounding. And for an entry level, I think some of the specifications, some of the internals of these are very good and unique. Um, would I recommend these is the question. Uh, yes, I would definitely recommend these. I'll leave a link down below to where you can get these. Uh, I totally would recommend these, to be quite honest. I personally like these. And it isn't just... I'm, I'm, I'm swayed by the fact that I love this cable. I'm swayed by the fact that I, I like the looks of these. And green is not my favorite color, but I like primary colors, so the green is very pretty to me. I found them comfortable. I think that I can listen to these for long periods of time without any fatigue. And they're just tuned very good. Uh... $169, C Audio Humi. Uh, some decent mocks here. It's a very decent IAM. I like it very much. I'm probably going to put this in the collection of ones that I use most often. Uh, totally. So once again, I hope this video was informative to you. And I hope to see you somewhere out on the internet. Thank you. Please stay safe.